Hi everyone, it's Aki from Bangladeshi Canadian Couple and today we are at Saskatoon Shines Care Home. My eyes caught the beautiful plants all around the main floor. The entranceway has a nice electric fireplace, some seats and a large TV screen. Let's start the tour of the rest of the house. This is the elevator for wheelchair accessible. This is the dining area. No, this is coffee coffee area for first level. Okay, this is the Dining coffee downstairs. area. And here we have a walk-in washroom. And again, this is wheelchair accessible for the shower. Okay, so now we'll go upstairs to the main floor. This is another coffee area and game board. What's the name of this game? Scrabble. There is a three season balcony, so they can take chill out over there. So this is nice, even in the winter you can come out here and there's big windows. You can see from through the window that is a gazebo. So during the summer, they can sit, chill out. And underneath the mm, snow, there is a fountain, there is pond, and this is a small garden over there. You just on the left. Okay, This is uh, in this washroom, this is a walk-in bathtub. That means they can walk into the bathtub. And this is special for seniors. And we have, uh, we have two actual washroom. Uh, one is uh, I mean bathtub and another one is the shower. This is very easy accessible. They can just step in and go inside sit and close then water will come up to this point so they will do bath here staff will all the time help them to take their bath so we travel when they go and how many bedrooms there are on this side well, we have total 15 at this level two we have nine bedrooms nine bedrooms and okay. two of this corner room is occupied by two seniors and that is the main entrance down yeah, there? Yeah, that is the main entrance and we have, you can see the stairs. We have two stairs and one elevator. Two stairs in one house because of fire safety. Now we are going to show you one of the rooms here. So this is what a typical room looks like, correct? Yes. Okay. Our room is ranged uh, from 3000 to 3600 depending on size of the room and sometimes price also varies on depending on their level of care so if they need heavy care then uh, price will go up do all of the rooms come with an attached washroom yes all of the room come with attached washroom and we will give them tv connection they can watch tv from their room and if they want they can keep their own land phone in the room and there is also google alert system that means if they want to call staff, they will just say, hi Google, call staff, then staff, cell phone will be start ringing, staff will come right the way to help them. Okay, so all the rooms include the Google Assistant? Yes. Usually um, resident, they take elevator. Staff, we don't use it for the safety.
This is a really big kitchen. So how many people can sit here? Yeah, we have, we can say, four tables, 16 chairs. So 16 people can sit here. We can stock our food inside the pantry. The burner, this is a guest burner stove. So we can bake, we can cook. So yesterday, our staff made some bun. Cookies here, this is made uh, home. They just had uh, lunch at 12 and 5 p.m. they will have supper. Usually they take very light lunch. Supper time, little bit more food they take. But senior people like age, average is 85. They really eat very less. Okay. Maybe one third of adult people. Okay, thank you. You can see two freeze. Freeze and freezer we used to use this one to keep our food food. We are committed to serve them fresh food. So every day our staff they do cooking and serve them. We don't have any special cook but all of our staff is uh, trained to cook food. This facility is licensed by Saskatoon Health Region. So we have to be very careful about cooking. We follow their guideline and anytime they can come to inspect our kitchen. So we had training from Saskatchewan Health Region. Uh, based on our training, we try to follow their rules. Mm, they are very strict about uh, resident safety, resident care and resident need. So we have uh, five, mm, six staff. All staff are trained. This is a small laundry room, but we have two washer, two dryer in place for folding clothes. And this is stored just to keep blankets and other household things. And how many times a week do you do laundry here? I am not sure because we have only four residents and we are new just seven days but we have to laundry individual resident what time we cannot mix their clothes together okay so there will be a lot of laundry running during the day right now we are in the lounging area so here there are some sofas and there's a nice big tv and a nice and warm fireplace This is the office area that will take us to the salon. In our facilities, we have a salon. The haircut, they will come here to cut their hair and they can wash their hair and dry using this machine. And really our residents that like the salon inside. And this is the boiler room. Yeah, boiler room. We have two furnaces, um, water, there's a water, uh, water heated flow, and this house is sprinkler system. If any time fire starts, so from the wall water will be coming. That's why you will see a lot of pipes. The pipes run all over the houses. If any fire starts, water will come from from the wall, from the roof, and this house is actually divided by a fire wall. So if one side uh, fire start, it will take at least two hours to go another side. And there is two stairs uh, to evacuate the resident from the house. So as a care home, as a commercial building, we had uh, to do a lot of uh, lot of extra things to make this house uh, safe, especially for safe from fire. So we are here now with the owner and director of Saskatoon Shine Care Home. Uh, this is Mr. Ijazul Haq Choudhury. Uh, Mr. Choudhury, can you tell us when you opened this care home? Thank you, Aki and Galif, to come to our care home facility. Um, Saskatoon Shine Care Home opened 4th January 2020. Three residents moved in first day. Actually, we built this house. It take about one and a half year process to complete our building. And there was also 
um, at least um, two months take to secure our license from Ministry of Health. Can you tell us who you opened this care home for? Yeah, thanks Aki for a good question. Actually, this is a care home. Usually people in Western country, uh, they live uh, in their own house until they retire. After retirement, um, they are maybe children already moved out from the home. They have a big house. They sell their house and they move to uh, retirement house. Retirement house is managed by big, maybe big corporation. There is 100, more than 100 facilities, 100 people live there and they get uh, from, uh, cooked meal, laundry service, but they are independent. But when people become more older, that means my resident is 65 plus age, when people become more older, then they got a lot of symptoms, maybe forgetfulness, they cannot manage their own medicine, they cannot manage their bath, they want um, care, 24 hour care service. In that case, uh, people look for care home, so they moved from retirement home to care home. This is our care home. Can you tell us what type of facilities there are in your home? Okay, so we are 15 bed care home. Uh, we have three level. So level one and level level one, we have six bed and level two, we have nine bed. All bed have uh, attached washroom. And uh, at the downstairs, we have dra uh, drawing dining kitchen area. There is saloon. So there is living space and we offer 24 hour, 24 hour care service and fresh uh, food and there is also we arrange a lot of activities for the seniors in our house right now uh, the eldest uh, resident her age is 94 and the youngest one is 81 so we provide them food according to their taste and we um, do activities with them like they have exercise today according to uh, their age appropriateness and we um, administer medicine um, and we make their appointments uh, their family can come here and spend their time with us so basically a care home is like uh, like uh, we we provide their comprehensive care in this house can you tell us what kind of activities are available in this care home? Okay, for instance, today morning they did 15 minutes exercise and um, every room have television, they can watch TV and some residents have lost memory. So there is also some game we do uh, with them to make their memory active. And because this is a new care home, we have only four residents now. We are making our activities according to individual need. So we are in a process of development activities. Um, and we actually want to keep them active. Sometimes uh, we will celebrate all their, all of our residents' birthday. In that case, maybe every month we'll have birthday. Uh, people can come from outside to play piano or music. There is also program school children come uh, to talk with them and some of uh, students already contacted with me they wanted to volunteer that means they will give them companionships so this is the list uh, short list of activities inside the house mr choudhury can you tell everyone how they can contact you okay saskatoon shines care home dot ca is our web address and we have also facebook pages so anyone can go Google and find Saskatoon Shine Care Home. And I will also leave a description in the description box below for those of you that are interested. And Mr. Chaudhary, can you tell everyone where you are from? Where you are from? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I live in Canada since um, 2006 and I am from Bangladesh. Thank you so Thank much uh, for giving us a tour of your home. Thank you. I am blessed that you came to visit us. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment below. Um, don't forget to share this video to let everyone know about this new care home in Saskatoon. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel.
Thank you for watching.